for a wash and one dollar for a dry. You can paddle on this little lake right here. You can look at the rest of them and tell me. Welcome to Pine Mountain. Site 110. We have this view. This premium site, so we have the uh, fireplace, picnic table, camping shower, hooks, and then it's, on this side we have of course 50 and 30 amp water, and what is really nice is we do have full sewer hookup. Okay. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Our first day. It is a brisk 35 degrees. At FDR. Typical site right here. This is site 200. We are in site 110 and most all are the same. Sort of a gravel heart pan layer. Hi there. Good job. They do have really nice wooded frames around the campsite. Keep everything in place. All sites come with a fire pit, picnic table, and this metal thing here, we haven't really quite figured out yet what it's for. It comes with two hooks. I'm thinking maybe to hang lanterns up or, um, not sure what you can use it for but it's here maybe we'll see some people use it and pretty much all around the lake these campsites i mean you're gonna get some beautiful views off the lake that's right in the center of the campground so all sites here have 50 and 30 amps and again it is a state park and what's great is so we have water hookup they do have sewer hookups here too. Even though I can't find this side sewer hookup, ours does. sites for tents around here and this time of year April 1st today great weather and great weather for camping looks 
like a uh, restroom facility. Loop three. Camping three. Yeah, we're gonna go in and see if we can see what it looks like inside. Okay, so we have, you know, the usual men's side here. Toilet clean. And there is one shower available. So one shower, nope, I take that back. This one has a toilet and a shower in it. Everything under one roof in this one. Yeah, good enough. So up that way, there's a trail right here that leads up to a, what they call a puppy trail. I guess there's a green area for the dogs. Yep. Okay, also a pavilion. And we just found out or just learned what those two little hooks were for. Outdoor shower. Outdoor, yeah, camping shower. Or whatever else. Yeah, these hooks right here. Hooks. So I had no idea what they were for. Guy looked at me funny when I asked. I, was, I guess I was, should have known what it is, but I have no clue. So this is where you hang a camping shower on. I'm like, I don't need a camping shower, so I don't know what it is for. But oh well, okay. Now we know. So if you see those little hooks someplace, camping showers. So you have small children. They also have a really nice looking campground. And it's with this rubber material here on the ground. And yeah, they got everything here for the little kiddos. It's closed off right now, roped off, because I think it's just kind of got flooded. They had rain here recently. And so that's maybe why they uh, decided to close this off. But nice little campground for the kids. So they got something for everybody. There's another outhouse. So there's two of them already that we've seen. And I got to find Leslie now because she keeps taking off on me. She never wants to wait. And I want to show you guys everything about this campground. So we'll find her. There she is. Okay, here's another site. Nice little deep site that'll hold a long rig, but also no sewer. So only, you think only premium sites have well, sewer? No, there's three different levels of sites. So it could be, some of them are 30 amp, but I'm yeah. sure we had a 50 amp. Right, so some, some are 30. Are 30 amp, and the, the ones that have 50 amp are premium and they have sewer. Um, and then the ones in the middle have 30 amp and sewer, and then they have the tent section and then okay. they have the primitive or they call pioneer so pick the right level for your rig right yeah and some of the sites are definitely not as level as others right which is typical with the gravel yeah i mean and it is a state park right just uh just the fact that there's sewer just the fact that park. some of these sites have sewer yeah these premium sites it's awesome four loops i don't know five i think there might be five, five different I'm loops not sure. we're in loop one site 110 wow they, they made themselves uh look yeah. at this this is like a little tent city they have some that are pulled through sites how cool is this thing some that are tent some that are yeah so um, there's short tents you here. know rv site different it looks like they actually have six levels or six loops i should say six camping loops not five so we stand corrected yeah, trash pick. I mean, not trash pickup, but your trash well, area. The mat to see how far back five is. Six is over here, and okay. then there's this little store. It looks like it's a store. Oh yeah, Roosevelt Stables. There's a phone number you can call here, and you can book yourself a horseback riding session. And this is the building you would come to. So there's the phone number. And if you enjoy walking or hiking like we do, there are so many trails around here. 
in every in every direction just within this campground so far we've seen trails which we're going to still have to explore and some of them interconnect with the ones that we passed on the trailhead outside yeah. i mean it's miles on end of hiking in Zoe here. likes this one for some reason that's the mountain creek nature trail which we're going to still have to check out and we're going to walk a little bit just because yeah. Zoe wants to go but there are just so many little trails that go off uh, the size of the campground that you don't have to go anywhere to go hiking. You just step out, pick your direction, and you'll find a trail within this campground. Of course, if you bring a car, there's trailheads, trailhead, several of them, um, just within this park alone, like it goes this way. that are um, between here and three miles, which is to the main entrance, almost four miles to the main entrance. And we passed probably four or five trailheads to different trails that may interconnect from some of these trails in here but if you want to start them someplace else you can go um, and start off on these trailheads so the trading post get little things like firewood and little knickknacks and then they also have a bigger store up at the main entrance here to the campground which will take you there in a little bit Okay, so our site is right there is our rig, 110, and right across the street is a bathhouse and a laundry facility. Okay, laundry facility, it's not much, so they only have one dryer, one washer, and a little sink, and that's it. Paddle boat rental area of the campground. This is the building you can rent it at. And then they have a few to choose from. And then you can paddle on this little lake right here. Pretty nifty looking little paddle boats. If you don't want the paddle boats, they also have, looks like there's a couple of John boats, um, canoes and kayaks right there in the shed. So they'll have all that available here for rent. That's the way down to the campground and up here is your registration office. The reason I'm so out of breath is because we just rode our bikes up here and if you come and visit, boy is it steep to come up here to the office from the campground. Sorry? We came from this way. 
Yep. So that might be how we get out of here. It's got the same problem. Okay, this is where you come and register and check in for your campground. And then right across the street where the truck is going right now, well, he's turning right, but straight ahead would be the way down to the campground. It's a fishing one, but I want to pick it. Yeah. yeah. Here's the uh, other set of cabins for rent. They have four of them one, two, three, and four. And I don't know if you could see it, but I mean, they got on the side there, they got these beautiful uh, docks overlooking the uh, Pine Mountain Valley. It's pretty nice. You can have a big deck party one of those but these cottages up here are located right by the uh, registration office to the other cottages you would have to go across the street down to the campground and then they have two different sets of cottages available for rent as well around the lake that's down there well that was our campground review for FDR State Park mm -hmm. we hope that you enjoyed it it really truly is a beautiful campground and we could have stayed there for a lot longer the park is so large that i'm not even sure we're going to be able to do everything we want to do in the time we're allotted so stay with us because the next video is going to start some of the hikes and trails and we're going to start with the first one which will be a trail to the pool uh, which is about two miles so we're going to work up yeah, pool and recreation area is supposed to be down there, but we're going to tackle that in our next video next Friday, next week. So, if you like this video, give us the thumbs up, the like button, the bell, you know all those things. That's right. You know where to find us by now. Yeah. We're everywhere. And we do appreciate everybody that has been subscribing to our channel, and we are slowly growing. We are very close to 500 now, and that is super cool yeah by the time you see this hopefully we'll have way more yeah we'll so if you're new to our channel please hit the subscribe button and subscribe we'll see you guys next week see ya bye bye